Cancer and welcome to my channel. We're doing your weekend feels. Okay, so let's see what's going on for your weekend and how you feel. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Weekend feels for the sun, moon, and rising. Now, here we're going to look at the situation. Extent of read is like we're going to see the other person, how they feel in the situation. Okay, so before you can proceed with the weekend. And at the same time, we're going to have the guides focus energy for you. Okay, so let's see what's going on. For the Cancerian Sun, Moon, and Rising, here we go. You have oh, Cancerian, the Chariot, really. <laughs> First card is you, so that's good. When every time like it's like that, I always feel like you're being you're where you're supposed to be. Yeah, it, there is no doubt. Good or bad, though, that's the thing. If it's bad, you're where you're you're supposed to be in the bad. If you're good, you're supposed to be in the good. But trust in the universe. That's where that's where we all are at, right? This is also travel, movement, movement towards success, understanding that there is divine, you know, because the universe is out there. You're just you're just following it, basically, Cancerian. You're just following it, and that's the whole connection that you have with this person. The situation that you're in, you're just following it. It's just going. I don't know where it's headed, but let's see. You have your ten of wands, finality. This has been ongoing. 10 is a completion, getting the result. The result here is, you know, it's like, it's putting you to a lot of work, but it, giving, it, it gives you a reward because that's always, for me, it's the harvest time. You planned it out the, fir the first one. It does get backbreaking over here, but this is someone who can take the responsibility. It is their choice to put, it, to put this responsibility in them. And that's why this person, look, they're going to keep doing what they're doing because they have all those ones at their back. And this person, I don't sense, they're tired. They're even, I think, planting more. So the connection that you're with, you know, the situation you're here with, it can be with a fire sign and it's completing and you're getting something good out of it. Very passionate. And you have here, wow, Queen of Wands over here. You're connecting with a fire sign who is a hot stuff. Just saying, Cancerians. <laughs> the Queen of Wands energy. Um, you're moving. You're seeing someone who you you know who fits the bill. This is your type, basically. You like the long hair, blonde girl. Um, I'm sorry if I have to generalize like that, but I'm just saying. You know, like you know, the stereotyping. Yes, but it's what you have always been looking for. You know, if it was, uh, you know, you probably stalked this person's Facebook profile for how many times, Cancerian? Okay, you've been looking at their picture day and night because that's a queen of wands right there. This is a situation that you're in. It's not obsession though, but you find them very, very much sexually attractive because they stay true to their power. This is the energy of this person. I mean, this connection that you have. And then you have your underneath the uh, chariot, eight of swords. So you can forget about all these thoughts because it's movement now. The situation that you're in, the whole being stuck, there's no more. It's all charging forward. There's no more thoughts that they can stop that this can, that, you know, that this can put a hold on to. You probably did, uh, did, did um, you probably did some um, eight of swords, meaning it's like you, you surrounded yourself with some cluttered thinking, but now you know how to proceed, okay? Underneath the ten of wands, we have here, king of cups, Cancerian. You're falling in love here. Slow down. Slow down, Cancerian. Don't fall in love. <laughs> no, but you're really falling for this person. Um, it can be another water sign or a water sign doing a lot of work for you or giving you this sense of completion also. This is where the situation is, the, you know, it calls for the word, you complete me. Because a ten of wands is completion and you have king of cups, so it's love. Love with completion is, you complete me. <laughs> Underneath the queen of wands, wow. <laughs> Empress card can be a Taurus. Love is in the air, guys. So the situation that you're in is that, one, you really are this person also. This is both people. Because the Empress over here, I'm sensing it's like they're contributing both energy. One is emotional, one is fiery. Empress is love, nurturing and caring. This person who's so good looking for you in this situation, they do want to take care of you. Empress, you know, the nurture part. Yes, they do gain both things. 
they gain material and spiritual wealth. You're getting both here in this situation, considering spiritual and material wealth um, can be even creating a business. This is the baby card, Cancerian. If you have a lot of Ten of Wands, and I've I've seen the Ten of Wands as the swimmers, you're gonna get pregnant. Be careful. I've seen it. I was I did just didn't want to refer it because it looks like a swimmer, guys. It really does. And it is coupling season. And the, every time this this Empress card is a red flag for me for those people who doesn't want to get pregnant, especially when you're a Queen of Wands, you are fertile. You are fertile. Okay, you're a hot stuff over there. So, do be careful on that one because that's a lot of sex, 10 of ones. This is the situation that you're in. I'm going to continue reading with how this person feels towards you, Cancerian. Have a mar marvelous, marvelous weekend. Ciao.